just a very quick disclaimer. If we've ever met you in our entire lives, um, you have somehow waived rights to privacy and will be mentioned in a current, past, or future nostalgia. Case in point. I'll try not to do it in this one. We're really trying to be conscientious. We apologize if we've offended anyone by mentioning you. Uh, my friend Sean and I um, spent a lot of time together. Um, when we first turned 21, we were just becoming really great friends. And a girl that really liked him went to Edinburgh University. Did you spend any time there as a student? <laughs> and she was completely infatuated with him. And this continued for many, many years, even mm -hmm. to the point where it got weird. But we went to Grove City to kill some time. That's sure. That's like what we did. Um, just because when you're that age and you got nothing to do, that's just what you do. So she called. It was on a cell phone, which I had no business owning. And said, um, you guys want to come up? Who was involved with you getting the cell phone? Quick tangent. Myself. You went and bought a cell phone? Mm -hmm. Go on. 250 bucks. I mean, that boggles the mind. That's a, pers that's a personal story. Ridic. Um, so we went up to Edinburgh. Yeah, so yeah. Like maybe an hour from Grove City. We met her there. We went to um, a liquor store, and we each bought our own personal pint of Sky Vodka. And we drank there. And um, we were done with that, and we said, let's go and get another pint of... Sky Vodka, so we got another pint of Sky Vodka, and we each drank another pint of Sky Vodka, and she was very, trying very hard to impress my friend Sean, and said, you know, I have the key to the art department since I'm an art major, do you want to go in there and, um, see, I forget what the pretense was, see something cool, and she goes, we really have to be discreet, because no one should know that we're in there. So we went into the art department, and we saw all these uh, student artwork. And then we went downstairs to the to the pottery room. And immediately, there was clay there. There was a half-finished something. And immediately, I was like, how do you work this thing? So she showed me how to work the pottery wheel. I'm like, this is pretty sweet. And they go, you take water and you mold it. So I started doing it. She goes, no, you can't. That's almost a project. I'm like, fuck you. So... I started doing that, and I made this, like, huge-ass friggin' penis, probably about that big, out of clay. And, uh... Ladies, shocking. if you know Paul, that's nothing surprising. Yeah. It, it was a sizable penis. I mean, it was something... Probably about that big. It was... That, that let's, let's not focus so much on the size of this penis you created. No, I want everyone to imagine the size of the penis. Just, <laughs> just take that in. Can you see that? You like that? I know, you like it. Stop. Not you. Yeah. Continue. You know I like penises. Okay. Let's just continue with the story. Um. Anyways, so we made a penis, and Sean tried to make something else, and at that point she gave up trying to control us, and um, should have known better. She was hammered, and she was always that girl that got ultra hammered to impress people, mm. and we were walking, and she went to piggyback ride Sean, my friend Sean, and she hit her head on the concrete so hard, the floor shook, you could feel it through your shoes, oh, and I thought man. she was dead, but she was completely fine. Um, later on, uh, we went to a house party, and that was the first time I ever saw iTunes on a computer. Huh. I was so amazed. At the whole process of downloading music. But let's stay on task here. No, it, it, the penises are the penis story's over. So there's no fallout from the penises. No, <laughs> not not a bit of fallout. Um, but the funny part was is that uh, there's two girls that really liked me, but um, at one point I was wearing bare slippers and a snorkel. Mm -hmm. Not sure where I got them from, and uh, that was too much for him. So that's the local winners. Yeah. Well done. <laughs>